All right, gang, it's Tuesday, so you know what that means, tips and tricks. Let's get into it. What's good everybody, Will Mydell back again with another tips and tricks tutorial on another Tuesday, second Tuesday, third Tuesday in the month, 2024. I don't know, I worked so much, I've lost track of days, unfortunately. But I found time to stop and do a tutorial for you guys. Yeah, so today we're gonna be in Premiere Pro and um, this is basically a quick tip on how to silence the vulgar one in the room. You know what I mean? It's almost like it should be a trick when you're sitting there eating with your family. You could just hear somebody swearing in the background. You should be able to just and watch them get quiet, you know, but yeah, some multiverse, somebody out there is able to do that. But until then, today we're gonna teach you guys how to get in Adobe Premiere and we're gonna give it that classic bars and tone sound that you hear in Hollywood when they're always um, cutting out the swear word. Also, this doesn't just have to be for vulgar language. This can be for um, interviews or uh, short films or whatnot when someone's giving out personal information. Uh, like cell phone or address, you, this bar can be used for that also. So, all right, let's jump straight into it. All right, so you can see that I got Adobe Premiere open and we're gonna use our funny guy, Mr. Uh, Samuel L to uh, demonstrate what we're trying to do today. So I mean, we can play this clip, I'm gonna let you guys hear what it, uh, you know the clip. I wanna hear from your ass is, you ain't got no problem, Jules. I'm on the motherfucker. So there's two uh, swears in there we're gonna try to chop out. So what we're gonna do is just gonna uh, drag him into a new comp and that's gonna open up. As you can see, we got him and we got his video bar and we got his audio bar. Now what I like to do, as you can see on the left down at the bottom where it says text, I like to transcribe my clips especially with situations like this, even though I don't use this situation a lot, but if I were to use it, I would just go ahead and transcribe the text because you can click on whatever the word is in the sentence that is being you know, spoken at that moment and it'll take it directly to that word on the timeline, which makes it easier to either clean up that word or remove it or add the tones, which you're about to do right now. So you can see what to hear from your, tell this is supposed to be a S enter. So if I click on that, oh, click out of this. There we go. Or if I click on this word, you see how it moves? The blue, this little blue uh bar right here, whenever I click on it, it goes directly to that word. Motherfucker. So now that we know where the words are at, all we have to do is go ahead and get our bars and tone and get the audio from that and drag it into place. So let's click on new item and we're gonna click on bars and tones. And we're just gonna click okay. As you can see the bars and tones, rec 709, double click on that and you got the this little sound right here oh y'all heard that everywhere so i could play it shorter and you could tell that's uh, the beep that they put over the, the people's mouth maybe next tutorial i'll show you how to blur the faces since we're all into this uh you know news broadway conversation all right so moving along um we're gonna go to our text again we're gonna click on the video clip so we, uh adobe knows what we're trying to work on and we're gonna click on this and honestly we could just drag the audio and so it's like a second file which is what we're gonna do at the what we're gonna do right now so if you click if you look under the, if you look under the bars and tone clip right here you see something that says drag video only right on the right of that you have drag audio only so you just want to click on that and drag the audio down under right here but instead of having it playing the whole time we're just going to go to the words and, and make a cut to where we want them at so let's click on this word and let's kind of spread this out too so so we made a cut right there and we can say that word is probably going to end about right here so we're going to take the audio clip from the um the bars and tone and just hold down shift and just drag it right above that to replace that word and we're going to delete this and we're going to go find this word over here so we could tell it starts about right here and ends about right there so we could delete that and we could delete that so if we go to the beginning and play whoa I think we accidentally deleted one of our yeah we did um, nope we did right what we were supposed to do so once we take the audio clip we slide it up to replace that 
Now we could delete this. I never deleted it. I did what I was supposed to do, which is slide that clip up to replace the audio. So now once we go back to the back and hit play. I wanna hear from your asses. You ain't got no problem, Jules. I'm on the- <laughs> You hear that? Let's play it one more time. I wanna hear from your asses. You ain't got no problem, Jules. So what's also cool about transcribing your text um, from the beginning is you can go ahead and click on like captions and you know and then you could create captions so if this was say for instance like your social media brand and you maybe you're taking a quote or you're you're giving a motivational reel right you're creating a motivational reel but you want to share some motivational quotes from people that have inspired you but in their quotes they're swearing and your page may be a little more family friendly or catered towards a certain demographic. So you wanna go ahead and mute that out. This is a perfect way of doing it. Plus, once you transcribe it and then you make the captions, it makes it easier to um, for people to read. So if you don't hear the audio, um, you can always read it. So that's kind of two in one. And it also gives you options, you know? So you might be say, looking at three rendered videos, one with captions, one with captions and audio, and another one with just the audio, you know, with the, the beeping noise on it. You kind of got wiggle room. Plus you might want to share different ones on different platforms. You might want to share one that does this on YouTube shorts and another one on Facebook, you know, uh, reels and then Instagram reels, or you have a LinkedIn profile that you want a professional, so you mute them. You get what I'm saying? So that's the, um, even though a lot of people are like, oh, I barely use that, this and this. Well, I mean, you never know, you know, what platform you're sharing to, or you might be working on a project for a client and they're, you know, a politician or a teacher or something, and they want a little more, you know, professional, you know, audio. Yeah, you want to go ahead and mute that out. I'm going to be sounding like this guy right here. I want to hear from your asses. You ain't got no problem, Jules. I'm on the. Just like that. All right. So that's today's tips and tips and tricks tips and tricks tips and tricks that's my little tip for you guys for the day not too long not too short i could have made the video shorter but i got the call you know you know i always try to add more ways and ideas like how can we use this in today's modern world filmmaker content creator or photographer i'm doing something for a family member and well i know i can come to you because you you worked at radio shack i know you know this stuff let's get that out Anywho, hope you guys learned something. If you did, like the video, share it. That, that'll help. I love, I love, you know, we'll actually share it. Or just leave a comment, you know, and uh, if there's something out there in a certain field that you're uh, trying to venture into and it's part of what we do over here, leave a comment. Like, hey, I saw this video, blah, blah, blah. Here's a link. Do you know how to do this? Um, you know, give me a challenge. You know, I'm open to anything outside of what my computer can handle, which will probably be like, 3D work right now, but we're gonna get that computer with you guys' support. Just the likes and the comments, and I appreciate you guys and the watch videos. All right, so follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Mr. Mydell and Will Mydell. Yes, indeed. Until next time, I see you guys later. All right, peace.